Hello staff, marriage mentors, and all of the gracious people Willowdale that have agreed to help out with this important event. On March 9th and 10th, Willowdale Chapel will be hosting the Art of Marriage Conference. Last year, almost 200 people attended, and out of those 200 people, 11 gave their lives to Christ, and many marriages were restored. So this year, we're hoping to have even more people. Please pray for that. We will be starting to pray 40 days prior to the event. That will begin on this Tuesday, January 31st. One of the key verses that is used in this conference is Ephesians 5.22. So I encourage you to pray at 5.22 p.m. about this event. If you can't pray at that time, that's completely fine. But I will be praying at that time, so I'm hoping that some of you can lift up these requests to God at 522 with me. To make it easier to pray, I've attached the Art of Marriage Prayer Guide. This prayer guide is, goes through eight weeks. It's not overwhelming. It's not seven days, but just five days out of the eight weeks. It in, contains scripture and also exactly what to pray for. So it makes it really, really simple. Today I was encouraged with the message of hope that Greg brought to us. You know, we have a lot of marriages that are broken, hurting, and going through trials at Willowdale, but we do have a God who can restore, heal, and give hope to marriages. That's what this Art of Marriage seminar is all about. So thank you so much for being a part of it. In addition to your prayer guide, I'd like to ask you to do a couple other things. One, pray for your own marriage, and two, be praying as the word goes out that people's hearts would be softened, that they would be coming to the event and they would actually bring, their marriages would become better. Together, let's bathe this event in prayer, praying that individuals will grow closer to God and that married couples would grow closer to each other. Ecclesiastes 4.12, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Thank you, Willowdale, as together we love God, love each other, and love the world that Jesus sent us to serve.